so this is the question here which is given that brakes are applied to a car traveling at 72 kilometers per hour after covering a distance of 200 meter its velocity is reduced to 36 kilometers per hour at the same rate of retardation or deceleration how much further will the car go before it is brought to rest okay this is the question this is the you know theoretical part now we have to convert it into a practical diagrammatic representation to understand it better okay so it is given first that a car is traveling let's say we have a road A car is traveling with a velocity of 72 kilometers per hour. Okay, it is traveling. Okay, brakes are applied. then after covering a distance of 200 meters okay here let's say the car slowed down to 36 kilometer per hour okay here this is the first point this is the second point this gap is 200 meters okay then from this point how much further it will go so that it is brought to a complete rest let's say the car is brought to rest here okay here it is brought to rest complete rest that is 0 meters per second we have to find this is the third point let's see we have to find this this gap this is the distance between 2 and 3 let's call it x okay this now this whole question can be divided into two parts first part the journey from 1 to 2 and then the journey from 2 to 3 okay for the journey from 1 to 2 from 1 to 2 this is the initial velocity for the journey from 1 to 2 this is the initial velocity okay initial velocity is for the journey 1 to 2 first part initial velocity is 72 kilometers per hour we convert it into meter per second so that it is easier to for analysis 72 into 1000 by 3600 okay 1000 meters 3600 seconds so it becomes 20 meter per second this is the initial velocity final velocity which is the velocity at point 2 it slowed down to 36 kilometers per hour <clears throat> again 1000 by 3600 which is 10 meters per second the distance traveled straight line distance straight line path it is 200 meters here we'll apply equation v square minus u square is equal to 2 a S. that implies 20 square minus 10 square is equal to 2 into a into 200 that implies a is equal to 100 uh, by mistake sorry this is 10 square this is the final velocity by mistake here I put 
20 this is 10 okay again you can make such silly mistakes and we get wrong answer okay so always be careful it's very easy to make them okay so if this is 20 this is 10 okay so final velocity v is 10 so 10 square minus 20 square this is 10 10 square minus 20 square so acceleration is equal to 10 square minus 20 square by 2 into 200 which is equal to 100 minus 400 by 400 which is equal to minus 300 by 400 which is minus 3 by 4 meters per second square this is the retardation negative acceleration or deceleration minus 3 by 4 meters per second square <clears throat> okay journey 1 from 2 that is complete now it has been said that at the same rate of retardation that is at the same negative acceleration rate that is minus 3 by 4 meter per second square how much distance it will travel before it comes to rest okay now let us focus on the journey from 2 to 3 now when it comes to the journey from 2 to 3 forget about 1 to 2 forget about 1 to 2 from 2 to 3 the distance s is equal to x this initial velocity this 36 km per hour or 10 meter per second that is the initial velocity this is the final velocity 0 meter per second so for the journey <clears throat> from 2 to 3 initial velocity is equal to 10 meter per second final velocity is 0 meter per second that is rest then acceleration is equal to minus 3 by 4 meters per second square okay and we have to determine the distance traveled which is equal to x so again the same equation v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s here final velocity is 0 square again make no mistake okay like we did uh, I did in the previous one 0 square minus u square is equal to 10 square which is equal to 2 into minus 3 by 4 into x that implies x is equal to 0 minus 100 by 2 into minus 3 by 4 okay 2 into minus 3 by 4 okay this so this is basically equal to minus 100 into 4 by 2 into minus 3 minus minus gets cancelled which is basically 400 by 6 so it becomes it is coming around 66.67 meters <clears throat> okay this gap 66.67 meters that is from point 2 onwards it travels further a distance of 66.67 meter up to point 3 where it comes to rest finally it comes to rest here from here to here it is 66.67 meters okay so again a very good question based upon see in any question related to motion in a straight line these four equations of motion will come into play but figuring out how to use these equations what values to assign to the different parameters let's say you know accurately determining what is the initial velocity what is the final velocity what is the you know acceleration what is the direction all that, that those are the things that determine whether you can solve the question or not 
you have to first be completely sure completely clear about the formulas of the equations of motion then determining what values to assign to which quickly accurately determining what values the magnitude direction to assign to each parameter that is crucial okay to solve these questions so as you practice more and more questions you will gain the knowledge the experience and then you will be familiar with that okay so this is the solution so here is another question so it is given that a car a is traveling on a straight line route with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour it is followed by another car b which is moving with a speed of 70 kilometers per hour when the distance between them is 2.5 kilometers car b is given an acceleration of 20 kilometers per hour square after what distance and time will car b catch up with car a okay so this is the question now let us try to understand it so there is a straight road we have two cars this is one car this is another let's say this is car a which is moving with 60 kilometers per hour and this is car b moving with 70 km per hour when the distance between them let's say this is point 1 this is point 1 this is point 2 when the distance between them the gap between them is 2.5 km at that particular instant car b is given an extra acceleration of 20 km per hour square okay this in the direction of motion so now obviously car b will catch up with car a because it is its speed is greater than a and it is given an extra acceleration so obviously they will catch up so let us say they catch up at point 3 here both the cars they meet both cars meet and let's say it is after a time interval of t seconds okay so we have to determine this gap x between 2 and 3 where both the cars meet and this t second x kilometers and t seconds that we have to determine okay now car a is moving with a uniform constant velocity of 60 km per hour in these t seconds okay in this time interval of t seconds it will cover a distance this distance x from point 2 to 3 x equals to 60 t this much distance it will cover 60 t kilometers it will cover because it is traveling with a uniform velocity of 60 so obviously in t seconds it will cover 60 t which is equal to x x is equal to 60 t kilometers that is important equation equation number 1 okay now car b it is it has a initial velocity of 70 km per hour initial velocity of car b acceleration of car b is 20 km per hour square so the total distance covered by car b to reach point 3 the total distance covered by car b to point reach point 3 is 2.5 plus x this much kilometers 
2.5 kilometers from 1 to 2 then from 2 to 3 total 2.5 plus x kilometers that is the total distance that the car b covers that is equal to basically 2.5 plus 60t this much kilometers because x is equal to 60t here we found out so using the basic equation okay s is equal to ut plus half at square if we put it for car b it will be sb is equal to ub t plus half a subscript b t square that applies 2.5 plus 60 t which is equal to sb is equal to ub t ub initial velocity is 70 t okay 70 t plus half a b acceleration of car b which is 20 into t square that implies 2.5 plus 60 t is equal to 70 t plus 20 by 2 which is 10 t square that implies here it becomes 10 t square plus 70 t minus 60 t minus 2.5 is equal to 0 that implies 10 t square plus 10 t minus 2.5 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation we will solve it for t so here t is equal to minus 10 plus minus 10 square minus 4 into 10 into minus 2.5 quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c that is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac by 2a which is 2 into 10 this so when we solve it we get values of if we calculate it we get two values okay let us solve it minus 10 10 square minus 4 into 10 into minus 2.5 by 2 into 10 so it is coming around t is equal to 0 0.207 or minus 1.207 so negative time does not it has no significance so t is equal to 0 0.207 hours okay hours not seconds it is it is hours so t is equal to 0 0.207 hours so after this much time interval both cars a and b they meet at point 3 so where they meet so in these 0 0.207 hours car a it covers x is equal to 60 uh, t kilometers 60 t kilometers that is equal to 60 into 0 0.207 which is equal to 12.42 kilometers so this x is equal to 12.42 kilometers and this t is equal to 0 0.207 hours okay these are the two things that was asked in the question which we wanted to determine so this is here so we solved a similar kind of question but uh, in that question also the acceleration part was not there both uh, objects were moving with uniform velocity so we also solved it by two methods first one this conventional method and then using the concept of relative velocity but this one here it brought into picture the acceleration okay it is, it is uniformly accelerated motion that was simple uniform velocity here it is uniformly accelerated motion so there is a difference between the two okay so this is the solution